Now look, I already know what you're thinking. You're thinking, bro, you don't make amps, you make guitars. Now hang on just a dang minute, because I'm with you on this one. I don't make guitar amps. But I was checking out that Spark Positive Grid. If I could live without the Spark Positive Grid app, I could probably make something just as cool and five times louder. Because see, I'm looking to find a bunch of crap around the house, maybe buy some little guitar processor, buy a little stereo amp, throw it all in a box and see what it sounds like. Because that's pretty much what that thing is. Well, that's enough lip flapping. Let's make it happen. Now, I'm not the kind of guy to make you stare at my computer screen while I talk about stuff I purchased online. But I will show you this screenshot right here. It's this little amp right here. Now, I chose the IEMA power amp because, well, it's 300 watts per side. I could have got a little tube amp for just the same price, but you know what? I'm going for power on this. Because I'm not trying to get tone from the amp. I'm going to get that from this. The Moore PE100. That's going to be our processor. And then I had this little Bluetooth guy here because, like I said, I didn't want to buy one that had Bluetooth because they had no power. But we could stick that right in the auxiliary of the moor and jam right along with whatever we want. Before we get started, I just want to tell you, I have a CNC, so I'm going to use it. But there's nothing in this video that you can't do with a jigsaw and a regular old hand router. So if we're going to build an amp, that means we're going to need a speaker box, right? So that means we're going to need some wood. Let's look around. I've got a couple of real nice pieces of plywood here. I got one piece of plywood there, and then I got this pine that we used for the make the door over here. Got a little bit of extra of that, so we're gonna use that. So it looks like we're going speaker scavenging, Ham Champ. You ready? Huh? You wanna go looking for some speakers? You wanna get them speakers? You don't wanna get them, do you? <laughs> After scourging my closets, I come up with this little set of Eastern computer speakers. Now, this had a sub, too, with an amp in it, but we just want the two towers. I've already busted one of them open. And I found two of these. I already busted one of them open, too. Now, you see the little eastern speakers. I busted them out, and I got these two out. And this one came out of the Panasonic. That's going to give us six speakers total with low, mediums, and highs. Let's put them in the box. Now we're gonna have to make some kind of screen for the front of this thing, but I don't just have no Tolex laying around. So I'm gonna turn this over to my wife. She said she's got some old sequin stuff laying around from an old dress. She said she's got this and I'm down with it. Dude. <laughs> are you serious? I mean, are you serious? Now you guys know I got multiple 3D printers. So we gotta 3D print some kind of scarred label for this guy. All right, it's printing. It's got the base down the raft. I'll come back and check it in a minute. Man, that's printing pretty good. I raised it up some in the software because it was really flat and we're gonna cut around the edges of it. I scavenged these two boards right here from some cutoffs that I had on some templates that I made. These were the outside cuts. And this one actually got a little crazy, but that's going to be on the bottom of the amp and it's not going to matter. 
But Kathy does all kinds of little crafts and stuff. And she had this left over from something. I think she made something with it. I don't remember what it was. But uh, this will work just perfectly to cover this thing up. We're going to let her do it. I don't think it looks too bad. It looks pretty good. Our staple gun's pretty crappy, but it's going to be on the inside. It's holding it together pretty good. We're going to put some more in it. But I got the sides cut out. Let's get the sides on it. Our little screen's looking pretty cool. Thank you for painting the, around the speakers, Kathy. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you doing that for me. Mm -hmm. That was really, really nice of you. Thank you. Now hurry up. Put a little finishing, a couple finishing little touches on this guy to make it look sweet too. These are just decorative. But don't it make it look cooler with the studs? I think it does. I love it like that. So I'm thinking this thing's looking pretty dang sweet. Let's finish putting it together now. Man, our cabinet's looking cool. The little amp's fat. I'm going to mount it. We got our little effects up here. I'm going to Velcro it down. This is going to be really cool. I just hope it sounds good. But if you notice, I put the speaker in through the back. If you ever go look at any speaker cabinet, 9 out of 10 times they mount them in through the front like this. Right? But I didn't do that. The reason for it is, is because it gives it this little cone. You see the little cone? If I take my phone and I turn it on some music and I cup my hands around the back, it makes it louder, don't it? So I'm thinking this little cone right here might give that speaker a little more kick. And if it don't, I'm surely not going to take away from it, right? But let's get the rest of these speakers in this thing. Now before I get all my speakers in and get them in the way, I guess I better put some hot glue on this thing. This is our actual amplifier that we bought. I'm just going to hot glue it down. Make sure we get enough on there so it doesn't come off. Now the way I wired this thing is, I just came straight out of one side of the amplifier into the big speaker, from the big speaker to the mid, and from the mid to the small. No crossovers, no nothing like that, nothing fancy. I got all the wiring nice and tight. Soldered in there, no loose ends. Now, of course, we're gonna Velcro down our little screen here, all right? How much was this Velcro? About $3. $3 for the Velcro, where'd you get it? Walmart Market. Walmart Market, please. Last but certainly not least, some old rubber pads I had laying around. Now I would have preferred to have some black ones. But I think having the white ones just makes it scarred.
I get done building anything, I always ask myself, what would I have done differently? Now that I know this thing sounds killer, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the little mower processor on here into something a little bit better. Because this thing is super loud. I wish you could really hear how loud it is. Overall, I'd have to say I'm pretty happy with it. I love how loud it is. I think it looks cool. It's not heavy by any means. Let's not forget, this guy's got Bluetooth too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that's as good as it gets for that kind of amp for me. And I appreciate you guys watching. But until next time, don't you touch my scar guitar. Don't you touch my scar guitar.